आइडिया टू वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल आर एंथ्रैक्स लेटर एंड स्मॉल पॉक्स ब्लैंकेट दीज आर द टू वेरी कॉमन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बायोटेरिज्म सो बायोटेरिज्म मीन्स बायोलॉजिकल और माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनिज्म आर यूज एज ए वीपन सो वट इज द डेफिनेशन आर डिवाइसेज और एजेंट्स आर यूज फॉर टू डेलीवरेट अटेम्प्ट to disseminate the disease and causing morbidity and mortality that can be given by aerosol most common mode of transmission is by aerosol that means by respiratory tract followed by in some food toxins or some bacteria which causes gastroenteritis like salmonella typhi vibrio cholerae that can be used as an agent mixed in food or it can be spread by insect vectors so broadly through infection or intoxication biological agents can be bacterial can be viral can be fungal toxin from the plants that can be biological weapon they may be developed as a part of government policy though now it is stopped no government can produce biological weapon legally so it is already been stopped though previously few government like russian government or some governments have produced the biological weapon so this question is very come what are the characteristics of biological weapon this can come as a short note when bioterrorism can only come as short note so should produce high morbidity and mortality next is easy to spread person to person spread is there a low infective dose because you cannot give in a large amount so low infective dose highly infectious by aerosol and rapid diagnostic facility is not available in which diagnosis is difficult it is very difficult to diagnose in common laboratory setup so those are another point rapid diagnostic facility is not available and vaccine should not be available globally potential to cause anxiety and panic panic among the population so another point is panic among the population availability of the pathogen and feasibility of production smallpox now stored in one or two places in the world so other terrorist organism cannot use smallpox as a biological weapon if they don't have the access to smallpox because smallpox is already in which year smallpox was eradicated in which year the smallpox was eradicated it is in the may 1980 where smallpox is eradicated from the world that is who declared smallpox is eradicated and environment stability should have the potential to be weaponized these are some history of bioterrorism in 6th century bc in ancient rome the water supply was poisoned by putting cadaver in it dead animal are put in a water supply in a drinking water so that can cause a toxicity among that population in 14th century bubonic plague was to used to infiltrate the enemy cities dead bodies of plague victims were hurled wall of the city of kaffa in 1346 so some may think the death pandemic of black death pandemic due to plague was due to this in 1314th and 15th centuries in europe it was due to the plague spreading smallpox by a contaminated blanket used by british to in 1767 for native american populations so these are some history next 20th century during world war 1 attempts were used anthrax to infiltrate among the animal population so anthrax generally proved to be ineffective during world war 2 731 of the japanese army was reported to have repeatedly dropped 
plague infested fleas over the China. So in another case, plague was used as a biological weapon. What is the causative organism for plague? Positive organism for plague. Anthrax is bacillus anthracis. So, what is the causative organism for plague? It is Yersinia. Yersinia pestis. So, US and British government scientists studied anthrax as a biological weapon. As I told, now it is not legal to study the microorganism as a biological weapon by government aid. So, no government can study or produce biological weapon. But before this was legal. 1969, bioweapons research on microbes and toxins seized by US President Richard M. Nixon. So, Richard Nixon stopped the research for against biological weapon. 1972, Biological and Toxin Weapons Convention Treaty outlawed the research of this type worldwide. What I was mentioning, that was the treaty. Now, no government can research or produce biological weapons. Soviet Union was in direct violation of this treaty. Until late 90s, Soviet produced and stored hundreds and tons of anthrax spores. So, Russia or the Soviet Union, then Soviet Union stored anthrax spore as a biological weapon. At present, there is suspicion that research on anthrax and others are going on by several, ongoing in several nations. In 1984, the infamous Sri Rajneesh, that is, it was sarcastically written as Bhagavan Sri Rajneesh, it was infamous Guru Rajneesh, who attempted to control a local election by giving some infected salad infested with salmonella type. Salmonella type you all know, so he infected the salads with salmonella type to capture a local population for an election. The attack infected 751 people with severe food poisoning. This is a story in paper, bioterrorism via salad bar. That was due to the salmonella typhi. In June 1993, religious group Shinrikyo of Japan, anthrax, released anthrax in Tokyo. The attack was a total failure because they used, they didn't know microbiology that much, they used the vaccine strain. So, what is the peculiarity of the vaccine strain? Pathogenicity is less. In September and October 2001, Several cases of anthrax broke out in the United States through U.S. postal system. That is another infamous incidence. 11 patients with inhalation anthrax and 5 died. So, these are the anthrax letters. So, anthrax letter, there was coated with bacillus anthrax spore. That was Geneva Protocol. First signed in 1925. Currently signed by 65 out of 120. One country states prohibited development, production, and use of biological weapons. Why we should know biological weapons? Why, as a doctor, we should know the bioterrorism or biological weapon? Because the affected people will come to you or any health setup. So you must identify the symptoms, the diagnostic facility available, and for further management. So healthcare professionals need to be aware. Because bioterrorism and biological weapons, they will be used as terrorist attack. They need to be trained and prepared in case of a potentially catastrophic event where quick action and decision making may save lives. Previous incidents of biological terrorism we already have covered. Type of biological weapon, evaluation of patients, how will you suspect treatment of patients who have been potentially exposed. CDC, remember two to three slides, all are along how the biological weapon is classified. This can come as short note or explain why. The most important three slides of this class is next three slides. 
category A, category B, category C. Who has divided? CDC, Center of Disease Control USA has divided the biological weapon in the three categories. So what are the three categories? Category A, that means they can be easily transmitted, high morbidity and mortality, major public health impact so that it can cause panic. Category B, lesser morbidity, mortality than category A, but it also cause panic and it is more difficult to disseminate. So category A is very easily disseminated among the populations. Category C, third highest priority, potential to cause significant morbidity, mortality, but mostly consists of emerging viral disease. Can you tell which organisms are included in category A? If you know category A and category C, others are all in category B. So what are category A? Anthrax, category A. Next, plague, pneumonic plague, category A. So, next we go to things. This is the high risk anthrax, Clostridium botulinum or botulism, plague, smallpox, and other tularemia and hemorrhagic fever. So, what are the hemorrhagic fever? included in the category A, one is Ebola, Marburg and Machupo virus, Marburg and Machupo virus and Lassa virus. So how will you remember? So anthrax you remember, Clostridium botulinum, botulinum, plague, smallpox, tularemia and other virus causing hemorrhagic fever. And usually these all three, Ebola, Marburg, Machupo has no treatment and mortality rate is around 90%. Marburg, Marburg where it was first discovered, from the name Marburg it was discovered in the Marburg city of Germany. It is a which type of virus? This is a phylovirus. And what it causes? It causes hemorrhagic fever. Machupo virus is an arena virus. It also causes bleeding manifestation in eye, in oral cavity, and also hemorrhagic fever. And Lassa virus causes fever. Now, category C the emerging viral disease. Two for category C, Hunter and Nipah virus. Hunter virus and Nipah virus, these are two category C. And others all, Brucella, Glander, Q fever, these are category B. Again, the same slide, anthrax botulism. So again, we can divide in bacterial, viral, fungal, protozoal and toxins. Bacillus anthracis, Brucella, Barcordaria mellai, Barcordaria pseudomellai, Francisella tolerances, Salmonella typhi, Shigella, Vibrio, Yersinia pestis, and Rickettsia legends like Coxiella barniti, Rickettsia pravazeki, Rickettsia rickettsiae. Variola major, smallpox. Other viral hemorrhagic fevers, I have already mentioned Marburg, Machupo, Ebola, these are all hemorrhagic fevers and viral encephalitis. Fungal, coccidoides imitis. What type of fungus is this? Histoplasma coccidoides, these are yeast or mold. What type of fungus? So, they are human pathogen, tend to produce spores and naturally designated for airborne infection. Coccidiary imitis has been included in the 80 organism list that is given by CDC as which are can be used as biological weapon. Histoposma capsulatum though not included in those 80 organism but can be used as a biological weapon. So these are the two fungus. Cryptosporidium parvum. Cryptosporidium 
infects normally infects which type of patient? Cryptosporidium you have already read. Cryptosporidium infects which type of patient? And what it causes? Cryptosporidium in which type of patient? You have two classes, one HIV and the opportunistic infection. In both cryptospor <coughs> cryptosporidium was taught. That causes diarrhea in HIV patients. One of the AIDS symptoms is diarrhea or chronic diarrhea for more than one month and that is usually caused by cryptosporidium. How can you diagnose cryptosporidium? Any idea how will you diagnose cryptosporidium? What are the two methods for diagnosing cryptosporidium? Not only you know the agent, you must know about something about the diagnostic modality of those agents. So, cryptosporidium can be, it is a category B agent, not category A. So, it is a category B priority agent. How it is diagnosed? It is diagnosed either by acid first stain of the stool or cryptosporidium parvum antigen test. So, either by antigen test or by acid modified acid first stain. What quantification, what is the percentage of H2SO4 used? In cryptosporidium, it is 1 percent H2SO4 is used for staining the cryptosporidium. These are toxin from the plant and from the bacteria also. Ricin, abrin, Clostridium perfringens toxin, Clostridium botulinum toxin, Tetrodotoxin and nerve agent. Ricin is also a category B biological weapon. Abrin is a toxic toxalbumin. Abrin is among the most strong plant toxin. And it is also a category B agent. Botulinum toxin. What it causes? You have already had a class on Clostridium botulinum. What it causes? What type of paralysis is caused by botulinum? Whether it is spastic paralysis or flaxseed paralysis, what type of paralysis is caused by botulinum? What is the mechanism of action of botulinum toxin? Botulinum toxin usually inhibits the acetylcholine release in motor neuron. It inhibits the presynaptic ganglion where it inhibits the acetylcholine release and in sympathetic, in parasympathetic, it inhibits the post synaptic ganglion. So, presynaptic in motor neuron, postsynaptic in sympathetic and parasympathetic. What it prevents? It prevents the release of acetylcholine. That means it leads to a spastic paralysis. Why it is ideal for as a bioterrorism weapon for bioterrorism? Because it is colorless and it is very low lethal dose. LD50 is very low. LD50 means 50% of that can cause the disease. LD50 is very low for botulinum neurotoxins. Anthrax. Anthrax you already have bacillus anthracis. What is the most important anthrax letter in USA in 2001? It is a category A. Now what type of anthrax is common when it is used as a bioterrorism? What is the common finding of anthrax? A black Asia in cutaneous anthrax. But what type of anthrax occurs in bioterrorism? It causes pulmonary anthrax. So, anthrax is spread by respiratory route or inhalation route. It causes pulmonary anthrax. And what is the clinical feature in chest x ray? When you see the chest x ray, there will be widening of the mediastinum. Mediastinum is wide. In a chest x-ray suspected of anthrax, how will you diagnose? What is the method advised by CDC? CDC has advised the use of PCR. PCR for diagnosing, so culture, gram stain, right stain or peripheral smear. What is the another, what type of capsule anthrax have? Can you tell what type of capsule? Most of the capsules are of polysaccharide in nature, but anthrax has polypeptide capsule. 
what is medusa head colony and how will you see the medusa head colony growth of bacillus anthracis you have to see in a 10x microscope that is due to the polypeptide colony you have to see in microscope the colony character of medusa head colony in anthrax and these are gram positive bacilli with spore gram positive bacilli spore forming gram positive bacilli is anthrax <coughs> what is the treatment ciprofloxacin or doxycycline if it is iv either ciprofloxacin doxycycline or amoxicillin doxyclindamycin can be used also so anthrax two point either if it is cutaneous black eschian most commonly pulmonary anthrax during use as biological weapon and that can cause this type of respiratory symptom plague it is not seen nowadays but in few years back or last centuries there were several pandemic of plague or black pandemic so yersinia pestis is the organism plague is a category a bioweapon as per cdc how it is also it would likely to be an aerosol leading to pneumonic plague what are the types of other types of plague other types is bubonic plague the enlargement of limb node but when it is used as bioweapon mostly used as an inhalation agent that leads to pulmonary pneumonic plague pulmonary manifestation fever dyspnea hemoptysis and consolidation how will it diagnose can be diagnosed by culture gram stain and pcr 1 to 6 days gentamicin streptomycin and doxycycline another important question about yersinia that even can survive at 4 degree centigrade so if blood is already infested with yersinia even if you store because yersinia is commonly not tested in blood bank so that can survive in can grow at 4 degree also treatment gentamicin streptomycin doxy or chloramphenicol variola major what is variola major anybody what is variola major variola major is smallpox that is smallpox vaccination is not given nowadays so most of the population are now unvaccinated so that is the reason the smallpox can be used as a weapon previously it was used by britishers against the native americans as a blanket so incubation period is 7 to 17 days macula papula or vesicula or pustular rash what is the difference between the rash of chicken pox and small pox can anybody tell chicken pox small pox and recently emerged monkey pox what is the difference between the rash chicken pox rash are pleomorphic because you can see the papules pustules or vesicle at the same time at different place and usually extremity hands or feet are not involved in chicken pox it involves face it involves trunk but hands and foot are not involved in chicken pox but in small pox the rashes are in the same stage and it can involve extremities also and monkey pox which is similar to what whether it is similar to small pox or chicken pox it is similar to small pox and it can involve hand and feet also what is the speciality of the monkey pox rash it can persist for 3 weeks or month it can persist longer symptoms are less severe but it can persist for more than 3 weeks What is the vaccine used in African country for monkeypox? Can anybody tell what is the vaccine used as India is not using vaccines? So what vaccines are being used by in African country or where monkeypox breakout has occurred? Any case for monkeypox detected in India? 
one case of monkeypox detected in Kerala. The vaccine used is smallpox vaccine is being used in Africa for preventing monkeypox or mpox. Preferably tell mpox, monkeypox is not usually called. Next, Francisella tuluriensis. What is this? It is a gram negative anaerobic organism. It can cause fever, chills, chest discomfort. It can cause tularemia, that means it spread in blood. Incubation period is 1 to 14 days. Again, gram stain, immunohistochemistry, and PCR. So, anaerobic are difficult to culture. So, Francisella, another gram negative organism. Oh, Yersinia. Yersinia included in which group? Whether it is a gram negative or gram positive? Yersinia are gram negative, non lactose fermenter, oxidase negative, does not produce H2S. So, Yersinia is also in the Enterobacteriaceae family, but they are non lactose fermenter, they are oxidase negative and they do not produce H2S either. So, that is Yersinia. It is gram negative and anaerobic. Bacillus answers is aerobic. Distinct clinical syndrome, percutaneous inoculation can occur due to ulcerogranular tularemia. What is ulcerogranular? It causes cutaneous ulcer and regional lymphadenopathy. It is designated as a category A because infectious dose is very low. Infectious dose is very low, it is included in the category A agent. Viral hemorrhagic fever, I already discussed Marburg, that is an filovirus, Ebola is also a filovirus and Machupo is the arena virus. They all cause hemorrhagic fever and in all these cases there is no treatment, no vaccine. Botulinum toxin, already dry mouth, ptosis, dysarthria, respiratory failure and dilated pupil. <coughs> Viral hemorrhagic fever are considered category A. When aerosolized can cause severe disease and usually cannot be treated. Barcoleria. This may come as a short note, not as a bioterrorism. It can also come as a short note in your bacteriology. So, at least two Barcoleria you should know. One is Barcoleria mali and Barcoleria pseudomali. What are these? They are gram negative, coccobacilli, gram negative, aerobic, and non motile bacillus. Melidiosis is caused by Barcoleria pseudomali. And only that Barcoleria pseudomali is the only motile among the Barcoleria. So, Barcoleria pseudomali causes melidiosis. Melidiosis is common in which part of India? In southern states of India, melidiosis is common. Pseudomelai and Barcoleria melai are category B weapons. German sympathizer in numerous countries are infected hordes by infecting with Barcoleria melai causing glanders. Rickettsial infection. Coxiella barniti, Rickettsia pravaseki, Rickettsia rickettsiae, and Chlamydia citrusi. Coxiella barniti is a category B. It can be disseminated on a large scale but low mortality rate. That is why it is less dangerous than category A. Aerosolized Coxiella barniti is extremely infectious. Now, this step is not for biological weapon. This is the laboratory organism which are dangerous to healthcare worker. Category group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. So, what I can tell, have you heard about the biosafety cabinet or biosafety level 2 or 3? So, these organism, group 1, no pathogenic organism that can be spread over desktop without any protection. But from group 3 or group 2, some protection you must take. 
bacillus species other than bacillus anthracis in group 2, <coughs> Clostridium, Cornibacterium, Enterobacteriaceae, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, they are included in the group 2. What is the speciality of the group 2? That means they can be treated, treatment, proper treatment is there. That is group 2 but bacteria, coronavirus except the SARS-CoV-2, except the COVID, other coronaviruses included in the group 2, Cryptococcus, Candida, Dermatophyte, Aspergillus, these are group 2, group 3, SARS-CoV-2 or coronavirus, uh, COVID virus, encephalitis virus, lymphocytic choreomeningitis virus, Hunter virus. Brucella species, Coxiella barniti, Francisella, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Group 3, treatment is there but it is difficult to treat. What should you use while handling this organism? At least you have biosafety cabinet type 2. So group 3 organism need to have a biosafety cabinet type 2 for processing. Why it is difficult to treat? Because tuberculosis more and more patients are having multi drug resistant tuberculosis. So that is another part of that is group 3, difficult to treat and difficult to diagnose. And group 4, group 4 means there is no effective treatment, no vaccines and mortality is usually more than the average 90 percent. Ebola, Marburg and Mashupo these are group 4 that should be have a biosafety level 3 cabinet, BSL 3 cabinet. That means you have to wear the full PPE and you cannot touch, there is some, the cabinet itself contains gloves like compartment, so you have to use that, no direct contact with this organism. So these are laboratory organisms that I have mentioned this in bioterrorism because many of these bioterrorism organisms are group 3 and group 4, so at least you know how to handle those organisms in the laboratory and it is also asked in short note what are the biosafety levels and what are the group organisms. This is a short class, any question from your side?